So, welcome to Richmond. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Our young folks still hold the pride and the joy and the purpose of our city, and it's so important to make sure that we, as their adult allies, elevate their voice every chance. For them to pave the way, they they the leader of the wave today, and in the city of pride and purpose. We need them. It's because they are the future, right? They, they are the ones who's going to be taking leadership and ownership of our community. It's important that we be able to support it's them. Years. So it's really about what do we do to support children and their families in the earliest years of brain development, of social and emotional development, in ways that we know will really carry forward throughout their childhood and into adulthood. It's because they are the experts of their reality and they are the ones most closest to the problems. So they should be at the center and at the table of making the solutions. They are the next innovators. They are the people that is that are going to take us um, beyond what we could ever imagine. And all we have to do is provide space and opportunity for them to lead you us. You are all part of what makes our county great. Thank you for what you do to make communities safer, healthier, and stronger and why we should be supporting the hard work of young leaders. To share this here, I want to sharpen our county's focus even more on the already important work that we do to support children and families. And to symbolize that focus, I thought it'd be appropriate that our lunch have a theme of empowering youth voices. John has been uh, chaired five times. That gives me meaning to the term supervisor's life, right? <laughs> John, you know that song, we were playing the Bee Gees. Was that for you? <laughs> I know that the rest of us in here, we weren't born yet, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Those were not the notes in my script. Let's uh, get back to protocol. I do poetry is because I will tell you time and time again, it really did save my life. Um, I grew up in Richmond, California. I, in high school, lost a significant person to me every single year of high school. One to suicide, one to old age, gun violence, um, and drug abuse, right? And so poetry was literally my only way of communicating with folks. So I want all of you who work in any organization that supports youth or their families, just raise your hands. So thank you. Thank you for everything you do. We are really one family in all of this. Thank you.